What's up guys? So my TTSL ladies are going to be working up to a one rep max this week. So we wanted to go over quickly how to work up to a max lift, um, what that should look like and what your set should look like. So starting out, even though you're working up to a one rep, you don't start with just doing one rep. Never start without warming up completely first. So go through your typical warm up, and then we start with a completely empty barbell and you start with probably about 10 reps here at the empty barbell. So we're gonna do that. So even if it's not an empty bar, it might be a PVC pipe um, to start out, but it should be a very lightweight for you just to get you start. Um, moving through the movement, whatever you're working up to. As we start to load the bar on, we wanna be doing um, like five or six reps, and as you get closer to your max, you're gonna decrease that number. So we start to load the bar up a little bit. As you start to load the bar up a little bit, you're gonna be doing maybe 50 to 60% once you start getting some weight on. Um, and if you have no idea what that is, that's completely fine. Just think of a weight that is probably a four out of 10 heavy for you. So you get it on the bar and you're like, I'm struggling, um, this is a little bit heavy, but I'm not struggling quite yet. This is about a four. Um, so you, you load that bar up, get maybe, eight reps there, then you're gonna increase the weight a little bit more. These jumps should be about 10, five to 10 pounds. Um, not really any more than that. If you have been lifting um, a little bit more, your jumps can be slightly bigger, um, but they really shouldn't exceed like 15 pound jumps. As you start to get heavier, um, you're gonna decrease the number that you're doing. So now you might be at a heavier weight and doing three reps. Um, you're gonna decrease that number till you get down to one, of course, and um, your jumps are gonna get much smaller. So as the weight gets heavier for me, my jump should be no more than five pounds total. So if you're like, I'm struggling with this a little bit, you should be adding two and a half on the side to equal five pound jumps. So I'm gonna get a little bit heavier in here. So as you start to get to a heavier weight, then you're gonna start going up very small. So two and a half I might add on here to equal five pound jumps. And then you're just doing one rep from there on out. So if I added a total of five pounds on here, just do one rep, successful make, take the two and a halfs off, add the fives on. Successful make there, of course. <laughs> and then we'll keep adding from there. So I hope this was helpful on how to find your one rep. If you have absolutely no idea what it is, um, just think that we're working up to as heavy as you can go as form allows. So if you feel your form start to break down, but you're still making reps, call it there. Because as soon as your form starts to break down, we're not practicing good mechanics. We're not really working towards our true one rep. So if your form breaks down, you're done. That's your one, that's your as heavy as form allows for that day. And then you can always come back to it um, as you get stronger. Have some fun.